As online classes grow in popularity, Vice Provost of Distance Education, Javier Reyes, says the university is committed to keeping these classes at the same caliber of lecture classes. The number of students, we went from having students taking online courses around 2,500 in 2008 to almost a little bit closer to 6,500 by 2012. So there is a tremendous increase in enrollments, but I think from our perspective, looking at the enrollment increases is, is not necessarily the best perspective or the best dimension to keep looking at because at the end of the day, what we have or what we're interested in is most likely, is more than likely in the quality of education we're offering. Kim Stouts and Michael Kelly, researchers in the U of A's social work department, are studying the differences in knowledge and attitudes of students taking an online class versus students taking a lecture class. The main thing we're going to be looking at is the difference between um, the online version of the human diversity class and the face-to-face -face version of the human diversity class. Um, basically looking at the knowledge gained or the attitude change with the students uh, both pre pre uh, using a pretest and a post test. And then at the end of the semester, we're, we're going to do focus groups with both sets of students. One of the reasons why it, it's important to have online classes is because it, it allows us to reach people who often um, can't come to camp, can't come to campus, are working more the non-traditional students or the students that are geographically too far to come. And so I think an online version allows us to have access to those students who, uh, who otherwise we wouldn't be able to reach. And so it's important to me and it's very compassionate to me to, to make sure that whatever version we provide really give the students the same experience and, and we be able to help those students online uh, broaden their lens um, just as much because I know the face-to-face -face class really works. I think we're really good at helping the students, again, become self-reflective and broaden their lens. So the question is, can we have that same impact 